All right, so Battlefield 6 won't launch. I had the same issue. A brand new computer, brand new operating system, reinstalled everything fresh, did not load. And the funny thing is, is the beta loaded on my old and moldy laptop just fine. But for some reason, when I tried to actually load this one up, all it did was show this screen, which is just an image here. It would show the screen and then it would close automatically. Now I looked online and there are three different fixes I'm going to show you. The first two are the ones I found online that unfortunately didn't work for me, but looked to work for a lot of people. And then the third one, which worked for me and I hope will work for you too. So before we get started, this video is brought to you by Playcast. I'll put a link to them in the description below. Absolute solid service. Get some free games um, and do some good for the community. But yeah, going into the video itself, let me show you what you need to do. The first thing that they recommended was the storage spaces fix. And shout out to... <laughs> uh, I can't make this stuff up. Big Peen McQueen here for this option. He said, just go into settings. We're going to search for storage settings advanced storage settings and then storage spaces and if you have any storage pools here especially if they include the drive that battlefield 6 is on you'll want to get rid of those as he says here delete it and try loading the game and it should work after now the second fix is an assumption that the exploit settings on windows are blocking it so what we need to do here is go to settings search for exploit protection open up in a different window that's fine and now we're gonna go to program settings and choose battlefield 6 so we're gonna click on add program add program choose exact file path and we're gonna choose the local disk steam library steam apps common battlefield 6 and then your battlefield 6 exe once you do that you scroll down and any of these that you see on like for example, if it looks like this and it's on, then you want to override the setting and turn it off. And that's what I've done here to make sure that these stay off. And as long as all of these are off, then you should be good to go. So hit apply and we're good. Now, unfortunately, none of these fixes work for me, but I did find one that did. So what I did is I went to the NVIDIA app, which again opened on the wrong screen. And I went over here to graphics and then I went to global settings. And what you want to do is restore all global settings and choose restore. And the reason for this is personally, I had DLSS override and a couple others that overrided in a, uh, or in game settings. And Battlefield 6 saw that as not okay. It saw it as like, well, don't override any of our stuff. We have anti cheat, we have all this stuff how it's supposed to go so when I restored this and I tried to load it all of a sudden the game loaded so yeah shout out to uh, Nvidia for breaking it in the first place I guess but uh, thankfully their default settings seem to work great let me know if this helped you out in the comment section below and uh, if it didn't let me know what did because it might help someone else too thank you so much for watching and have a good day peace